friends so today for our media demo video I'm gonna be showing you guys about some oil pastels now there are many different kinds of oil pastels out there I have two here in my studio that I want to share with you but they're all good you can find them in lots of stores you can find them at Walmart Target sometimes even places like Staples has a good supply of um, different types of art supplies you can also find them of course at Michaels and online Links to all the supplies I recommend are on my website on the FAQs page. So please go there and check that out. So today we're going to talk about oil pastels, like I said. And so these are um, Crayola. These are the ones that I use in all my classes. I recommend them highly. They're a great uh, versatile oil pastel for kids and even adults. And so I always recommend the one with 28 colors. Gives you lots of choices. There are different packs that are smaller, but they just don't have the same variety of color. Another one I happen to have handy right here is by Pentel. Pentel is great. This one has 49 colors. And you can see they're similar. They're a little smaller, but there's a lot of colors. And so they work in the same way, though, as the Crayola. It just depends on what you have, and they're all good in their own way. So feel free to do some investigating and learn more about these pastels. But I'm going to be working with my Crayola today. Also, I always recommend if you're using oil pastels that you use a black colored pencil. So I recommend Prismacolor. Prismacolor is just a brand. You can buy these at Michaels or online. They're really great because they have such a dark black line and they're really rich. And so just to give you an idea, it's just really wonderful. If you don't want your child drawing with Sharpies, for example, have them draw with a Prismacolor. There's no eraser. It shows you that there's no mistakes in art but it also has a really nice dark line. Another reason I like to use these is because when you're coloring with an oil pastel, sometimes you cover over your Sharpie lines and they just don't stand out like they did before. And so I just wanted to show you real quick what happens. So sometimes your lines get kind of lost and uh, what this does is you can just make those lines stand out again. And so it's a really great way to make your artwork look even more finished. We'll come back to that more later. If you do have a Prismacolor pencil though, I recommend that you have this sharpener. The sharpener is a, a manual sharpener. This is a uh, one that, uh, there's a link to it on my website, so go there and check that out. You don't wanna use an electric pencil sharpener when you have this type of pencil because they're made with wax and they will fill up the teeth with wax and stop it from sharpening your pencils. So to avoid that, remember, get yourself a manual one. Last but not least, friends, with these um, media demos, I'm just hoping that you will tag your friends when you see these on Facebook so they can learn about my programming as well. This is a magnet. These are fridge magnets. I had them made. I would love to mail you one. When you tag your friend in the comments, you're going to get one of these mailed to you. There's three per week that I'm going to do, and I would love you to get the first one. So please make sure you do that. All right, friends. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get busy and work on our daylily with oil pastels. And so we're going to start with the sky. And the sky is this big open space in the background. And so for that, I'm gonna turn my paper. I'm gonna get my free draw paper ready. It's always wise to have free draw paper just handy on the side. It's one way you can always cover something so you don't get smudges on it. You can also just test your colors on it. So I'm gonna start with my free draw paper, partially covering my flower. And I wanna have my sky be a really pretty color. So I think I'm gonna go with like a pink. So I'm gonna start with this pink right here. And I'm going to just start by gently filling in the sky. And this is, there are many ways to use an oil pastel. This is one way I am going to be filling it in slowly like this. And then I'm going to make sure I get into all these little nooks and crannies. If I accidentally go over the edge of my flower or anything like that, it's no big deal. Also, you notice I have this blue mat underneath my artwork and that's to protect the table. So these are some things you see I'm protecting my hand over here and protecting the table over here. These are some things that just make the process go a little bit more smoothly for you. And I hope you'll try that at home as well. So I'm gonna work a little bit more on my sky and I just wanted to show you how, I've kind of done it about halfway now. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take another color now. I'm going to take sort of a deeper color. Now this is red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the very bottom with a little bit of red. And I'm not going to do a lot. I just want to go kind of across the bottom a little. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. This is going to make my sky look really, really dramatic. And that's just going to be just for fun. Just why not, you know? So I've got that at the bottom. And now I'm going to take uh, sort of this peachy color and I'm going to cross over the middle here between my red and my pink and I'm just going to let that peach sort of be the blending color. You can see how I'm pressing a little bit harder with this. I'm just going to take my time and let my oil pastels do the work for me. But I'm going to make sure that I get into all these little areas. And then I'm going to go up into my pink area, which is the top. And it's sort of like a sunrise in this drawing. I kind of feel like that's what we're looking at here. I'm going to finish by taking my pink now and going back over all of it. And the pink is going to just kind of blend and mix it all together. And so that is just a quick way to show you a fun and bright, you know, sky. So let me just get a little bit more of this in here. I'm going to do the most of this in time lapse, guys, like I normally do. I just wanted you to know how this works. So pulling my pink all the way to the top again and that looks pretty good I'm not really done I just wanted to show you what that looks like another thing to consider is rubbing and so rubbing is when you use your finger you can also use a paper towel and you just kind of blend it with your finger just like let the colors mix and blend underneath your finger and so the heat from your finger and the layers of the oil pastel will kind of mix together and it takes a little bit of time. You can see how long I've rubbed this one spot, but boy, it sure looks good. All right, guys, I'm going to do the rest of this in time lapse and then I'll come back and do a little bit of uh, follow up at the end just to conclude, but enjoy. Here we go. As you can see that sometimes your artwork takes on a life of its own. I really didn't know exactly what this was going to look like when I was all done, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Sometimes you have to tap your paper like this to get these crumbs off, then brush the crumbs out of your way. You can also use the back of your hand, but I recommend that you just kind of do this whole tapping thing, and uh, that way they just kind of come off. Um, also guys, I wanted you to notice that I just went out of my way to really use this black pencil to make all these little details stand out. And even though this is a flower that blooms in summer, I, I just think it's kind of fun to think of it maybe blooming right now, like maybe it's a late bloomer. Um, you can see how I outlined everything and how I just did my best to create some sh uh, light and shadow on things like on this mushroom or on these leaves or on the stems and the petals and different things. So. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it and uh, definitely make sure you put your name on the back. That pencil is a great thing to use and uh, like I said, if you don't want to draw with Sharpie, you can always draw with a black pencil. It works just as well. Alright friends, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'll see you next time. <music>